What's up Maniacs, my name is Mex, I'm a wrestling fan, a wrestling enthusiast, a WrestleManiac if you will and today we are here to talk about Zelina Vega's return to WWE Smackdown. It has been kind of long awaited ever since we heard she was in the Performance Center, what was she doing back in NXT and it was said that she signed a contract and then this week on Smackdown Sonya Deville came out to announce her as the latest member of the SmackDown roster that will be joining the Money in the Bank women's ladder match at the pay-per-view in the next week or so. Brilliant to see Zelina back, but it kind of went downhill from this point, if you ask me, in terms of a return. She was then joined in the ring with Sonya Deville by Liv Morgan, who again wasn't happy with people just being given opportunities, walking straight into the ladder match. They wrestled the match so that Liv Morgan can prove herself, not necessarily get into the match, but just prove herself that she deserves a place in the match. And she beat Zelina Vega, a return in Zelina Vega, in literally minutes. It was like a squash. It was so pointless. Terrible, terrible look for a return. We're gonna talk about it in just a second, so stay tuned. Right here at WrestleManiac UK, I discuss everything that's WWE and AEW. So if this sounds like the place for you, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every time I drop a new video. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get into it. Zelina Vega returns to WWE SmackDown. So I'm gonna quickly split this into two separate little topics, if you like. Firstly, before we get to the wrestling side of things, let's talk about her returning. Obviously, there's a lot of people saying that, you know, she's a sellout. She made all of this noise about unionization, about how the wrestlers need to be protected more, this, that, and the other. And here she is, back in WWE, collecting the paycheck. Firstly, for those that don't know how unionization works, it takes more than one person. And let's not lie to ourselves. As popular as she is within the wrestling world, how much pull does she really have to make something like that happen predominantly alone as well? Bigger stars than her have tried this and have not succeeded. So she's obviously tried, she's obviously probably got in contact with several people, but it's harder than it just seems on the surface of things to just make this happen. So it doesn't mean she's not interested in doing so anymore just because she's returned to WWE. Maybe it just couldn't happen at the time. These things are a process and she may just keep working on it in the background as she gets her career back on track. And that's another thing. Guys, this is her career. She's been sitting at home doing just Twitch and maybe other ventures here and there, but not doing what she loves and that's being involved in the wrestling business. My one qualm is that maybe she would have had offers on the table from other promotions, namely AEW with Andrade turning up over there. I thought, come on, put Zelina over there. Thea Trinidad and Andrade together would be absolute gold. She's returned to WWE. And yes, they recently sacked her husband. So, you know, are they all a bit bitter in that? At the end of the day, she needs to get paid. Her husband and her will probably need money coming into the house. And this may be the best deal that they had on the table, you know? So we can't judge what decision her and her family have made. We can only support we all like Selena Vega. She just have to support it and let her get on with it. It's her choice, it's her life. She's back on our screens now on the WWE side of things. Maybe we all wanted her to turn up in AEW. It's not our choice. It's not our choice at the end of the day. So that's the only disappointing thing from my point of view. I would have liked to see her in AEW, but she's made the choice that she thinks is right for her. So let us see and hopefully it works out for her this time around. So as for the actual return, like I think I've said in the last few weeks, I'm not a fan of people just walking into the Money in the Bank briefcase match. I think, you know, Carmella may be an exception on the woman's side of things because she's a previous winner, but Zelina Vega literally walking back into the company and straight into this ladder match, yeah, it rubs me up the wrong way. Unless they plan to treat her like a big deal, which we soon found out that wasn't the case because she got rolled up by Liv Morgan and yeah being pinned on your return is never a good look now it looks like they're really putting some momentum behind Liv Morgan I expect Liv Morgan to eventually make it into this ladder match but right now they're making her kind of jump through hoops and stuff and really kind of making us feel a bit sympathetic that these other guys are walking in and just walking straight into the match while Liv Morgan has to kind of fight and claw her way into a position to be recognized to be put into that match so yeah they're definitely um, giving some babyface emphasis behind Liv Morgan which I guess the crowd want to see the crowd have wanted Liv Morgan to have this kind of push personally I don't see it yet 
I'm, you know, I'm, I'm here to give it a chance and everything like that. But I don't know why everyone is so invested in Liv Morgan. But yeah, I'm not poo-pooing it. I'm here to give it a chance, but we shall see. But yeah, it's just um, not a really good way to make your re-debut, if you like, your return to WWE. Losing in a squash match. Yeah, I don't know about that. On the flip side, I do think Zelina Vega as a possible Money in the Bank briefcase holder would be absolutely fantastic. The promo she could cut, the kind of sneak attacks and the sneaky ways that she can maneuver around the champion, I think would be really, really interesting. Whether they're gonna put a title on someone that just kind of returned to the company, yeah, that's another whole situation. I don't know about that, but I think she would make a great, great heel briefcase holder. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. So guys, that's my thoughts on the whole situation, my reaction to the whole situation. Great to see Zelina Vega back. I am a big fan of hers, always have been, always will be. This isn't the career choice I would have taken. Maybe if an offer from AEW was on the table, that's where I would have went for her to link up with Andrade. If they could have done that, that would have been the absolute greatest. But here she is back in WWE back on SmackDown and I'm looking forward to seeing what they will do but in my opinion the start hasn't been great and furthermore with Zelina Vega returning to WWE is there a chance that Alistair Black comes back to WWE? We've already heard that some higher ups said that letting Alistair Black go was a mistake and that there apparently is an offer on the table already for Alistair Black to return to WWE or will he return to his days as Tommy End in AEW or elsewhere we gotta wait and see but I think Zelina returning to WWE could play some part in a possible return for him also guys let me know what you think down below in the comments of Zelina Vega's return to WWE Smackdown let me know what you think of her being in the ladder match and her possibly being a briefcase holder that could be some good fun and Alistair Black are you swayed by any chance by Zelina Vega coming back that Alistair Black may also return to WWE let me know down below in the comments if you enjoyed this video please leave us with a big thumbs up hit the like button and if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every time i drop a new video wrestlemaniac uk signing out and i'll see you soon